Everybody wants to be healthy, but a lot of people don't connect health with food. But every cell in your body is made entirely of what goes in through your mouth. What I want to do is to encourage people to eat what they think that they would like their body to be made of. I started growing food really when, um, when I was at uni. I came home one day and said I thought I would have a veggie patch. As it turns out, that's what I've become really passionate about since I've come here. Because when I first came here, I didn't know anyone. I just bought this house at the very bottom of Tasmania. As soon as the first things, I think it was lettuce, started to come up in the garden by themselves, I thought, oh, I'm safe. One of the best things you can do for yourself, for your health, is to smile. My beautiful chooks. Chooky and chook <laughs> They're all chooky and chook I wonder how much we need, actually. Oh, I may as well just do a bit more, hey? I wanted to be surrounded by a garden, specifically my vegetable garden. I wanted to be inside on a cold and frosty morning and be able to look out and see vegetables. And so when it is cold and frosty, what you're looking out to see is mostly brassicas. It's absolutely the most beautiful thing to see that purple cauliflower, purple sprouting broccoli, those gorgeous little huckaray turnips and the, the kale, all laden down with frost and snow even once when I was here. I can just sit in here in the warm with my coffee and look out at them. And then later on in the day, I can go out and pick them. And it's just like, it's glorious. What, why wouldn't you want to do that? So here's some uh, brassicas. Winter is the most fantastic time for brassicas. So this was all under cover a while ago. But now that the weather's cold, taking the covers off, the brassicas are so happy. Anybody can grow brassicas, I think, because they're so tough. They're a winter thing, so you don't have to be tending to them. You don't have to water them, really, even. You just watch them grow and you pick them when it suits you. The colder it is, the sweeter they'll be. The more it rains, the happier they'll be. And you don't have to really tend to them. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you, girls. Well, I've become really in sync with my garden. Whatever my garden is producing is what I eat because I don't feel like I'm the boss. I'm just managing what the seasons are giving me. I think what humans need to do is eat within a kilometre of where you live, preferably a few metres of where you live, out your back door. I think it gives you enormous health. <laughs>